Goodbye, Satan! <laughs> New hair every day. Ah! I'm out of here. That's stuff to do. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm so excited to have you here today. Uh, if you've been watching for a long time, you might be one of those guys that's sitting there wondering like, hey, you know what? I signed up for Toyota Tacoma videos and I rarely ever see Toyota Tacomas anymore. Like, here's my Tacoma. We never take it out. You wanna know why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this message, this error that I keep getting called, uh, it's a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive change failure message. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, crazy family. We're a weird bunch. That is creepy. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, so I'm on my way to Tyler's shop. I I've just given up on doing any work at my own property because I have a barn with a dirt floor, and it's just terrible for uh, working on cars. And you know what? My good buddy who lives down the road, he's got a full-on lift and everything. So you check this out. We got tons of errors. Now I can tell you why some of these errors are happening, but uh, other ones we need to figure out. We gotta take it to the shop and figure out what's going on. We'll get this truck figured out. Hopefully we'll get it back out on some trails soon. We'll get some awesome Toyota Tacoma content. But first, a word from our sponsor. The, 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 but first, a word from our sponsor. What's up, man? What are you doing? Are you shaving with a machete? Oh no, this is a uh, this is a Rhodesian bear scaling knife. No, I mean I don't I don't care what I don't really care what it is, but why are you shaving with it? Well, it's awkward. I mean, I mean like I saw you had like that clean shave going on, and you're doing the Movember thing, and your mustache. It just looked it just looked so good that well I just I thought I'd shave too. A Rhodesian bear scaling knife? D should I put it, should I, d don't, so don't, don't use this, should I put it away? You're kidding me, right? Dude, try this. Oh, that's a sample pack from Dollar Shave Club. Oh, that's nice. No, I'm a member of Dollar Shave Club because you know, I work at the fire, fire department and I have to shave all the time. That's real nice. Right, no, it's no, it's Movember, so I'm growing like a, like a, like a mustache kind of thing right now. Probably work better than the Rhodesian bear scaling knife. Uh, you can have that, that's the starter set. It comes with the executive handle and uh, some six bladed razors. Are you, are you serious? Are you using motor oil to shape with? Huh? Bro, that's disgusting. No, dude, that's gonna give you like cancer. What? I can't use motor oil? No, and don't even think about using gear oil. You're gonna smell like an old fart, but it's right here. And it kind of gives me like a tan complexion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't use that. Try this. Oh! Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter. So this is how you get so silky smooth. No, you can keep that kit, but if you want, you can go to dollarshaveclub.com and uh, you can just buy one of those starter kits for five bucks. You should also check out their holiday deals. They got some really good deals uh, for gifts um, in case anyone else you know is using that knife. You cleaned that thing, didn't you? Thank you so much to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. I'm proud to be working with Dollar Shave Club because they make all of this kind of stuff possible as well as you guys, the viewers, and the Patreon members. You know what, nothing's free. I can't do this three times a week for free. So you know what, it's just, it's one of those uh, necessary evils that we just gotta, we gotta do. Repping a stash, a repping a sweet stash, bro. And you know what? Desiree's actually into it this year. She has been flowing like the River Jordan for <laughs> the mustache. I, to, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, no, she's uh, she's she's digging it. It's a nice change. We have to work on the truck today. We're going to. Uh, it's a known issue with the Toyota Tacoma that the four x four actuator motor becomes detached from the solders inside its little housing. So we need to pull the skid plate off, we need to pull the actuator out, which we will lose a little bit of differential fluid, and I should have brought some, now I'm gonna have to buy some. And uh, 
we're just gonna have to re-solder that connection and then put it all back together and then hopefully that will reduce the issues that we're gonna have in the future. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The thing that will make them ring is the jolly that will be on your own front door. And a pistol that shoots is the wish of body and men everywhere you go. Whew. See? Just like that, $105 down for an oil change and a little bit of solder to fix my truck. Ridiculous. All right, boys, we're here. It's time to hunker down. It's time to get in the zone. This is what we gotta do, we got to get our hands in there. We gotta get dirty, we gotta get messy, we gotta work, we gotta get some stuff done. Yeah, we gotta get motivated. Hello. <laughs> oh, my beauty. Don't worry, it won't be long. This little baby needs a full frame swap because I rolled it, I rolled it bad. Tyler has trusted me to move his tractor, which uh, I'm a little bit nervous about actually. <laughs> Captain's log. I'm being stalked by the locals. They've been watching me for some time now. They haven't made any moves, but I'm sure their intent is less than savory. Okay, let's see here. This is a big tractor, my goodness. Ooh, oh. a springy chair. <laughs> How do you put this thing in reverse? Tip, get all the crap out of your car that you're gonna need before you lift it. I know this one from experience. Luckily, Tyler and I have lifted this truck so many times, it's gonna be second nature. Uh-oh. We have no power, Tyler. What am I to do? Hello? Oh, well, hello? Yes? Hey, man, uh, I'm at your shop. Yeah, um... What'd you do? I rolled your tractor. You are a liar. I, I, the truck fell off the lift. No, it didn't. Uh, dude, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just hanging there, sort of. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm full of shit. I'm kidding. Okay, no, <laughs> I was like, you and, you and me two in a row. Got you on that one. Ha! <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Alright. Gotta leave a dispo. Clear patient assist. Patient assist. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, so I got the truck all staged up underneath the lift, but I have no power to the lift. Huh? No power. No button. 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 No working. Well, that's not normal. Um, I think that is. I think I do remember now because I'm like, no, I'm not even using that circuit. I think I. No. Right Truck's in the air. I'm gonna take off this steel skid plate from CBI off road. Hopefully, she comes right off with ease. Woo! Woo! She's heavy. Right here is my front diff, and you can see it's kind of leaking, and that must be from when Nitro Gear did the uh, the 529 gears. Might have not sealed up quite right. I noticed the same thing in the back, unfortunately. But this is the thing that's having issues right here. Now, to the best of my understanding, there's a little motor in there that sometimes gets shaken loose, and uh, this either happened from off-roading, maybe corrosion or water got in there. What I'm gonna do is remove that, and re-solder the connections inside. There's a little electrical harness in there and there's a motor that needs to be soldered. So we're gonna pull it apart, solder on there, and hope that makes it better. And that grease, just kinda clean her up. 
or go to town. Short disclaimer, the best thing you can do is just have a professional do it, but I do believe in you guys. I think you can do this. I think anybody can do their own work. It's just a matter of time. It just takes time to figure it out. We're gonna go ahead, there's four bolts we're gonna tackle. One, two, three, four. There's a little air tube that we wanna pop off and an electrical connection. Let's start with the air tube and the electrical connection. are free and you've disconnected the electrical and that little air tube well there's gonna be some sealant holding that thing on so you want to take a rubber mallet and pound it off uh, make sure you have like a drain pan there ready because you you're gonna lose a little bit of gear oil There we have it, little actuator. Okay. Ah, oh, it dripped on me. Okay, so this is my four wheel drive actuator and inside is a little motor and some electronic components that um, possibly are malfunctioning. It could be due to just rattling loose, which I've read on forums. Uh, it can also be due to uh, corrosion, which someone um, just today told me that uh, on Instagram. And, uh, or it could be just some connections that need to be re-soldered. I'm kind of following this dude, his channel's name is Kflow, something or other. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll list it here below. He is the one that pretty much made it a really good instructional video how to do this. And uh, all his videos seem to be very straightforward Toyota Tacoma related videos. None of that goofing around shit like that Max Powell guy. Silly bastard. Cool. So I've raided Tyler's tools. I've come up with a number of things that I'm going to use to refurbish this thing. We have some dielectric grease, a battery powered soldering iron. Have any of you ever seen a battery powered soldering iron? And it's Milwaukee, of course. The guy's got everything. Um, some anti-seize, we have a screwdriver, a Phillips tip screwdriver, and then this little guy so we can get some actual uh, leverage on these Phillips. And then we have some sensor cleaner, some carb choke part cleaner, and some WD-40. Ah, I'm gonna start off I already soaked these things down with some. Holy shit. Already penetrated deep into the screws of this actuator. Next step is to get some leverage on them and pry it apart with my muscles. Oh, these aren't even tight. I say when I get this cover off, I have earned a beer. There you have it, folks. I kinda wish I, I'm not gonna move anything around in here. There's actually plenty of grease still, it seems. And there's no corrosion at all. So, I do hope this is just all my issue was. But I don't have any corrosion or anything. So, I've attached a bit of wire to this uh, old battery here that I found. And I, I'm just testing the motor. Check this out, see if you can even see it. It seems to work perfectly fine. But I don't, I don't really understand why this was malfunctioning, or if it even is, or if I have some other issue. This thing is sweet. 
I'm never buying a normal soldering iron again. I'm gonna put some dielectric grease just on my solders. Ooh, that's a lot. Jeez. Okay, well, I really hope this works. I got the whole thing back together. I'm about to put some sealant on it, um, and then we'll, we'll put it back. The sealant, you want to wait an hour before you refill the diff, um, and so during that time, I'll end up uh, changing the oil on the truck, and um, hopefully by the time I'm done with that, we can put some diff fluid back in, get the skid plate back on, and go from there. I'm so, so hungry, so I'm trying to hurry so I can go get some fish sticks. Did you say fish sticks? drive on the salt flats guys. Alright so I got that all buttoned back up. This RTV is still kind of drying but I think it's gonna be okay. I really hope everything is good to go and we, that we fix those four-wheel drive problems because I really want to be able to uh, do some snow runs this year. So I'll go ahead and uh, button everything back up and make sure. Don't let me forget guys. Don't let me forget. I gotta put oil in the thing. Uh, <laughs> I've always been afraid I'm gonna forget to put oil in it. Ah! Oh! Wish I had a friend here. Put oil in the thing before I forget. The maintenance code since I did the oil change, changed the front diff fluid, which is great. The rear diff fluid should still be good. So I believe what you want to do in order to do that, hold. Maybe it's without powering it on. There we go. See those dots? Do, 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 do. There we go. That should reset the maintenance light. As far as the stability control system light goes, that's new. I don't know what that is. I might have to clear that with my code reader and then see if it pops back up again because that's a whole new issue. And I don't, I don't know if it's just because it was up on the lift and all drooped out. That's long travel issues. Uh, let's see if the four wheel drive system works. Yep, she went right into four wheel drive. I heard it click over. Going to neutral. Slammed right into four low, no problem. Okay, see if we can get out of four low. That's important. That worked really well. And two. Everything works? Cool, so as far as I can tell, that worked. The stability control thing, that's a new deal, but it's, um, it's an ongoing issue I've had with the alignment on this truck. After mobbing it through Moab, it was just never really quite the same. So, um, Hopefully I can get that looked after at some point, but oh well, we'll figure it out. I have a whole new long travel kit coming for this truck, and so we're gonna tear this thing apart, tear all the suspension out from under it, coat everything in, uh, in undercoating. Like, we got really cool plans for this truck. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna finally go full on long travel, but until then, I'm just gonna have to deal with a few Christmas lights. But we got one less light. So that's awesome. And we got four wheel drive, so now we can do some wheeling videos, finally. Ooh, it is a gorgeous night for flying. Man, I should be flying right now. <coughs> but that's all right. Home sweet home. Truck's feeling good. Everything feels right. I think if I just reset it, it'll uh, ditch that, um, that warning there. Man, I haven't had anything to eat at all today. Um, what did I have? A bagel for breakfast. That's it. That's all I've eaten. 
I'm a big man. I like to eat. I need to eat. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much. Look forward to some future wheeling videos because I really want to take the truck out. I'm tempted to take it out in the field, but you know, it's not really going to serve it any justice. It's not actually wheeling. It's just a flat field. So let's do some uh, runs in the Tacoma soon. Let's look forward to that. I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited to have the Tacoma back in operating and uh, Whew, I'm just excited to have that over with. Pause. Hello! Come on, Bodie. Good boy. Hey, just a second. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Make sure you turn on the notification icon so you get notified every time I upload, which is about three to four times per week. Um, we have a whole bunch of different types of videos ranging from falconry, paramotoring, side-by-sides, four-wheel, vlogs, you know, all sorts of stuff. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to like it, so you might as well just subscribe now. Quit the act and subscribe. Also, ah, dogs. If you've been watching for a while, the best way to help me out is by sharing my channel. Share it on Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. Word of mouth. I don't care. Make sticky notes. Put them in your office. Blast it. Dogs. Do you mind? It helps me out a ton. So thanks a lot. You can follow me on Instagram at max.powell. And uh, we will see you there. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Yeah. It's, it's new, it's not to its fullest, it's the lighting in here. It's actually pretty dark in the, you know, different atmosphere. The, it'll, it'll grow, it'll grow. Ow. Oh, this? This is a, uh, this is a Rhodesian bear scaling knife. A Rhodesian bear scaling knife? Rhodesian bear scaling knife. A Rhodesian bear scaling knife? A Rhodesian bear scaling knife. Rhodesian bear scaling knife. Whoa. I mean, it's a lubricant. You're gonna smell like an old fart. You're gonna smell like a cat fart. You're gonna smell like a fish fart, dude. Oh. 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 Well, thank you. It's, um... That's a, it's a mustache, it's for Movember. To raise awareness for um, butthole cancer, can testicular cancer, male cancer, butthole cancer, scrotum cancer. No, prostate cancer, that's the one, both of them. Testicular cancer, prostate cancer, you should get checked. Especially if you're gonna be using motor oil on your face. Oh, try this. You cleaned that thing, didn't you? Okay, because you know about germs. That's a thing. Bacteria. Viruses. Cysts.